Well, the NFL has certainly saved the best for last on this week, too. Best game of the week, the Sunday night game. The Seattle Seahawks a three-point home favorite over the San Francisco 49ers. 44 the total on bet deck. I look at San Francisco's game against the Green Bay Packers last week. I really feel like for a better, that game is a blessing because it showed us a few things. Number one, it showed us that the Niners do not have as good a defense this year as they had last year. Of course, that's to be expected. They lost an all-pro safety in Deshaun Goldson, and they've replaced him with a rookie in Eric Reed. Reed clearly has all the physical tools. He'll probably be a great player in the league for years to come. But at this point, he's not at Goldson's level. That was obvious last week. Aaron Rodgers had a much easier, t much easier time moving the ball against his San Francisco defense than he did the last time he faced them. Another thing we saw out of the Niners last week is their offense is just fine. An excellent offense. Colin Kaepernick played especially well. Career high, threw for over 400 yards on that Green Bay defense. And betters, the general public, likes offense. So I think coming out of that game, I think that actually elevated the opinion of the San Francisco 49ers w with most betters. I, I think that most people sitting here this week look at the San Francisco 49ers and have a slightly higher opinion of them than maybe they did a week ago. Maybe I'm misreading that, but based on everything I've heard and seen over the last week, that's sort of the impression I'm getting. People think that the, the Niners over, win over Green Bay was very impressive. And so I, I'm not sure I'm on that same page. Yes, I was impressed with the offense. Yes, I was impressed with Kaepernick. Make no mistake about it. The Seattle Seahawks secondary will never be mistaken with the Green Bay Packers secondary. There's a whole different deal uh, this week on the road in Seattle. Seahawks last week held Cam Newton to a career low 125 yards in their road victory over the Carolina Panthers. And the last time Kaepernick came up to Seattle on December 23rd of last year, he was definitely rattled. Seahawks won that game 42-13. to I think Seattle has the better defense in this situation now that San Francisco has taken a slight step back on that side of the ball. Seattle certainly very balanced on offense. Marshawn Lynch could not get going last week against that tough Carolina defense. I expect him to get going this week against a Niners defense that he's had a lot of recent success against. Russell Wilson did play extremely well last week against that Carolina defense, which the Panthers at this point might be better in the secondary than the San Francisco 49ers. So I don't expect a 42-13 result here this week, but I do think Seattle an excellent bet, minus three. Seahawks, remember, the best home team in the NFL, 8-0 against the spread at home last year. And the home team has dominated this rivalry recently. The home team, 6-2 against the spread, the last eight Seattle-San Francisco games. So a lot of things working in the Seahawks' favor here. I think the line is reasonable. I think the line is down at three because, again, I think a lot of people are really impressed with the San Francisco 49ers after their win over the Green Bay Packers last week. But I think that has created opportunity. I like the Seahawks here. Minus three. think they win this game comfortably.